Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who learns to desolate search peasants, vassals, meat sacks, shish kebabbers? I'm a useful idiot. And uh, reports are coming out now that Israeli jets struck deep inside Syria over the weekend. And uh, there are no confirmations yet, but this story has so much credibility that uh, I'm going to bring it anyway. I usually like to wait until things uh, settle out, but this story seems to make sense. And uh, that is the Free Syrian Army is reporting that Israeli fighter jets flew into Damascus early Saturday morning around 6 a.m. and bombed a chemicals weapons depot outside the city, what uh, they call in Syria, quote, the Scientific Studies and Research Center, unquote. And uh, neither Damascus or Jerusalem have yet confirmed this attack, but uh, there's a number of uh, uh, media sources that are reporting the story now. According to the Jewish press and Israeli newspaper, re reports came in over the weekend confirming the mission. Reports say the jet circled Assad's compound, compound before moving on to the alleged weapon site. Reports also say the Israeli jets uh, were fired upon. And uh, this makes a lot of sense. First of all, the gesture of uh, circling uh, President Assad of Syria's compound before striking their target sounds in line with uh, what one would expect. And, uh, and then there also is the fact that there's been a lot of uh, fighting around that area. Free Syrian Army and Al-Qaeda terrorists and everyone else that's over there, the so-called rebels, have been trying to uh, take over this uh, chemical weapons plant. And Lebanese sources confirm the heavy fighting in the vicinity. And uh, the, the rebels are not able to breach the uh, heavy security at these sites, which is uh, another thing that is counter to what is being purported in the Western media. Syria is going out of its way and has heavily guarded and protected any sites of uh, potential uh, weapons of mass destruction and chemical weapons. Um, so they're just as interested in keeping them out of the hands of, of the rebels. And uh, another reason why there would be some silence is it wouldn't surprise me um, because reports also say that Netanyahu has apparently instructed all Israeli officials to remain silent on any of these uh, incursions into Syria. So this would be the uh, second or third time the Israeli jets have uh, struck inside Syria. And this is pretty deep inside security, inside Syria. And uh, it says a lot about uh, Israeli capabilities that these jets could fly in, uh, in and around Damascus and then get back to Israel being unchallenged by Syrian aircraft. But uh, another reason why this all makes sense to me is because it's uh, right after um, all these issues came up about uh, Syrians using chemical weapons. And uh, now Israel uh, was showing that they will take matters in their own hands and uh, they will take care of chemical weapons. They will, uh, they will retaliate when that red line is crossed, unlike uh, Barack Obama. That's the message that's being sent by Israel. And, um, of course, I'll pull this video. This uh, story turns out not to be true, but uh, I think it's dramatic enough to uh, bring it, and it seems credible enough to bring it. And um, one of the, the bottom line for me is this once again shows that uh, Israel will take advantage of this situation in Syria to uh, act with impunity inside Syria. And then, uh, of course, squawk when uh, Israeli sovereignty or airspace is uh, violated by a drone. So uh, here we go. So uh, as I promised in the last video, there will be more Israeli airstrikes, and apparently there has been. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.